male escorting is different than the world of female escorting. Men generally are independent contractors, and it's very equal, the, the male client and the male escort. It's a very self-empowered group. My name is Jeffrey Davids, and I'm the founder and president of RentBoy.com. I had spent a summer in the UK. The, the word rent boy was just used by everybody there. Everybody was a rent boy and it was cool. And it, it wasn't like prostitute or escort or anything like that. It had a really nice sound. And when I came back, so I got the name rentboy.com. Rentboy.com is not an escort service. There's no madame here. We're not getting in between the customers and, and the escorts. It's basically a social networking site where men can feel safe advertising their skills and exploring their fantasies. Hi, my name is Gio. I knew guys who were in Renboy. I thought I should give it a try. Sexually, you get to explore certain fantasies. Sometimes things can happen that never happened before, but it also depends on the chemistry. Not every client really has the option to claim their piece of homosexuality. A lot of the clients are married. Some of our customers are handicapped or, or physically challenged. They're going to explode if they can't have an outlet with somebody else. And don't underestimate that. It kind of caught me by surprise. In terms of the Reeker story, part of me was delighted to see this guy toppled and to watch him grasping for straws to explain why he was doing what he was doing in light of all that he had said before. And another side of me feels that the guy is a human being and he should be given the space to explore his sexuality. And in a certain sense, my great hope um, would be that through this exploration, maybe he would come to make a public declaration. Maybe he would come to change his mind. Maybe he would say, I've gotten a chance to quietly experience something and, and I feel awful for having been wrong all this time. It's not all about sex. A lot of times it's, uh People want to let themselves out and talk about who they are. People are so vulnerable, extremely vulnerable when it comes to, to this part of intimacy. None of us had anything to do with the, the cracking of the story or releasing it. It just, just so happens that they were caught. I think it's crazy that he was there oppressing Boy Scouts and adolescents and people who were you know, who are trying to come to terms with their, with their sexuality. And, and, you know, to me, it makes me happy in a way that he found a boy on our site and, um, and went away with him.